Hey peeps, this is Joey Emanuel coming to you live. And, well not live, I'm recording this for my vestibular. Uh, I'm a vestibular warrior and winner. I beat vestibular, uh, vestibular, rehab, vestibular system by doing vestibular uh, rehabilitation uh, therapy, but I also did it by asking God in prayer to tell to let me know what I needed to learn from the situation in order for me to go ahead and be able to help others. It was terrifying. It was horrible. Uh, I didn't know any. I didn't know anything. But it's good to ask. Reach out. Maybe I may not have all the answers, but I know that I have the answers that worked for me. And I do have a connection with an inner guide that tells told me I'm going to walk you through this, and I'm pretty glad that you know. It's involved reaching out to people, not giving up, retraining my brain, doing vestibular re therapy. And in this actual house, I've actually been able to really transform. I never give up, gave up. With vertigo and all, you can do things while you're sitting on the floor. So I painted my cabinets. You have to, you have to use, be creative to make yourself continue to move the brain muscles. And the thoughts in your mind are actually sending the signal to your rest of your, your, your body. So... You know, and this has been proven constantly by people who have beat cancer, who have beat ailments, and I myself beat it by saying to myself sometimes, you don't belong. Vertigo, you don't belong in me. Get out of me now. And allow my cells to be infused with God's cells, even though it's kind of like a, an awareness of my own self. We are created in God's image, so why not? And if... It, if you believe in the universe, it's a universal law that actually responds to your thinking because we are created in the image and likeness of the gods that have been seen throughout the whole world. Different faces, different faith, different beliefs. So my, I challenge you, although you're already feeling vertically challenged, to really put yourself there and don't give up. Most people give up just before they're about to get healed and say, oh, this is, doesn't work. It's kind of like when I started doing affirmations back in the 1980s, okay? And um, if I've come this way, this far, I am completely healed. Once in a blue moon, hey, I'm a 57-year-old person, young, and and I actually, it doesn't matter what your age. I used a cane and made it gracefully look good with my suits. Uh, you give it your own knack. So I wouldn't fall. And I did fire a couple of doctors for telling me that it would never, I would never be healed. And here I am. You know, there are tons of videos all over Prime, Amazon, um, and about self-healing and how you people heal themselves. And they came from big things. Lower the blue screen, okay, in your uh, video devices, electronic devices, and just get informed, okay? And uh, do know that there is a God, there's a spiritual God that is actually really an energy that everybody can, can actually agree with, that guides you. And to me, there are some people that kind of go through tougher phases, but it doesn't matter how tough you are, it's how tough. If God has given you the ability to experience such, such a thing, it's because you actually like adversity. But this is not to blame yourself. It may be a, a, an adverse that we can cuss at and we can yell at it and we can shake our heads like that and make ourselves dizzy in order to go ahead and proceed. But you know, dizziness is also the, the feeling when you actually feel yourself. You know how when people fall back in those healings by Christ? Well, think about it. It's kind of like the same thing. Just make sure, sure you got a mattress or something that you're going to fall on along the way. I guess what I'm really saying to you is to dig deep and don't give up on yourself. It doesn't matter how many years, if you how many years you have been doing something or nothing, but you are doing some kind of healing and you're on a journey to be here, physically here on the earth now. And wherever you are on your journey, there is a way to go ahead and persevere. And don't blame yourself or criticize yourself or look for somebody else's uh, acceptance of you uh, to heal yourself. Believe in you. 
Okay, I know it's a hard thing to do, but stay positive. Uh, if other people can, if other people can heal, why can't I? If I can heal, why can't you? We're not different. Okay, we are not different. We're all created from the same universal source and energy. So anyhow, look at my other videos on my YouTube channel, which is where I'm going to be posting this on vestibular, vestibular rehabilitation or vertigo list. And you will have the full playlist of everything that I did. Okay, so God bless you. One love and namaste, guys. And I hope that you get it. I really know that you will.